Hello, my good people. Welcome to the Great Asnet channel. Yes, please, if you are new here, consider subscribing. Support me. Help me grow on YouTube. And those who have been supporting me, thank you very much for your support. Your support is highly appreciated. Yes. Thank you for reaching me to 400 subscription mark. And we are heading to 500 subscription mark. Please, guys, help me grow on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, these are residential gated community villas, yes, for rental. <laughs> they are called Paradise Village. Yes, this is the ones, yes. So, you can see how they are, yes, they are one of high-end <laughs> villas here in, in Doha, yes. And you know, the high-end villas and apartments, you pay more. <laughs> Because the services you get in here are much, much more than what you expect, yes. And they have a school here, yes. This school, it's known as Bazan uh, School of Girls, yes. This is the school. You can see how it is. Eh? High-end school. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we are going to safari ride and adventure in the desert. Yes, that is where we are going to. We are going to ride and see how the desert looks like. <laughs> so, that's where we are going. But before we head there, we are going to alight here to see these towers you can see them they look like a tourist attraction area yes and i'm sure it is yes it is a tourist attraction so anyone visiting Doha, they can come drop here and see what is in there you know some of these towers they have um some history how they look inside they are very very beautiful <laughs> look at this this one for ventilation you know all right same holes for ventilation in houses yes it was even in kenya it was like that before yes <laughs> before that is how people used to put their ventilation in their houses yes so and to some people it still applies yes Okay, guys, this is the aerial view of Um Salal village here in Doha. This village is in northern part of Doha. Yes, I hope I pronounced the name well because well, that was hard to pronounce that name. <laughs> so, guys, we are back down. Yes, you can see the view of this <laughs> while you are down here. Yes. I think these towers were used in those days, eh? those, those days, <laughs> in those days back, you know what I mean, those, those days, yes, so you can see how attractive it is, I think this is something like a minciam, yes, something like that, yes, somewhere you can come and tour, yes, <laughs> Something you can ha come and tour, have good time here. You can see how the place is. This place is so wonderful, I tell you. You can see for yourselves. <laughs> and you can also climb on these towers, yes, and watch or see the aerial view of this village, yes, just as uh, I did. <laughs> 
And by the way, this is a nice place for photo shoot. Yes, for the for the um, visitors. <laughs> it's a very very nice place. Yes. we are out of that beautiful tower place so we are back on the road so we are heading to we're just going around outside doha city yes so outside here doha city you as you can see it is uh dry than the city doha in doha it looks more green than these sides yes now these sides it gives you the um, the real the real picture of the desert yes that is <laughs> and i really love this because it is um somehow like a, a tourist attraction yes because for those people who haven't seen the desert and so what is there on the desert you see this is now the experience <laughs> this is the thing now. Let's see what we can see out here, what we can visit, what we can see good in Doha, outside Doha city. Yes, because, you know, in Doha city, we have a lot of things to see, a lot of things to do. And even out here. But let's see. Look what we have here. This is Baladna company yes it is one of the largest qatari agricultural company this is a company in qatar that has a large number of livestock farming milk and dairy production they also produce other uh, beverages uh, like fresh juices and also they export these products to other neighboring countries. Yes, like uh, Oman, Malaysia, Afghanistan, Yemen, Bahrain, and other more. Yes, <laughs> now you know. Wow, look at this view. So this um this outside Doha, yes, outside Doha town, we have many roads, just like in Doha. Yes, you can see them. Look at these roads. <laughs> they are Maram roads, and I'm in love with this desert uh view. And let me remind you guys, maybe you've forgotten, you know, in Doha, they are hosting a very big event. Yes, 2022 World Cup event. <laughs> 
So we are all eyes on it. We are waiting for these moments, which are already nearing. We still have 10 days to go. Yes, to the World Cup. <laughs> There we are, guys. This place is called Zumara area. Yes. So this place is in the northwest of Doha. This is another place that uh, residents or the visitors in Qatar, they can visit and see what's here. Yes, because we have a lot of history about this place and Qatar in, in general. I love the way these buildings are generally uh, modest. They have attractive gypsum uh, patterns or design. Uh, that makes it more attractive, yes. You can see their ceiling is very beautiful. Yes, it was made from the palm leaves. And those logs that hold the leaves, those are mangrove trees or logs. <laughs> and this is a well, yes, where they used to fetch water. But now it's dry. There's no water inside here. <laughs> see this ceiling. I like this view out here. You can see the desert view and you can see this building. They look similar. <laughs> they look similar in color. Yes. So it is beige. Yes. Beige like color. That is. And this place, as you can see outside, it looks like a heritage area. Yes. Heritage and cultural area. And it is. One thing good with this desert, at least you can see some greenery somewhere. Some green, even if it's one plant or one place, there is some green. Yes, it is not that dry, dry, as in dry, there is nothing green at all. No, it has some green somewhere. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not lying, but you can see everything for yourselves, yes. And I really enjoy this, this view, the desert view. I really love it, yes. I love it. It looks like a no man's land, yes. <laughs> and you know, the big population is in Doha, yes. That is where everyone is living, in Doha. We just have a few outside uh, Doha city but most of the population is within the town. <music> Oh, 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 oh,
welcome back my people after a long ride we arrived at Aldakira island yes in this highland as you can see we have lots of trees these trees are known as mangrove trees yes you can see their roots they have a lot of roots protruding from the ground yes so that they can breathe yes <laughs> So in this um in this island we have this water and we also have fish inside this water we have crabs we have a lot of things yes that you can find in water but you know the other side has a lot of water this side is a bit water it's a bit drying but it cannot dry it will still be there forever <laughs> And when it rains, this water is a lot. Yes. You can see for yourselves, this place is beautiful. And you know, people, most of people come here to do camping. Yes, this side. So it is good, looks peaceful here. <laughs> people also come here to do kayaking. You can see this water it is pure clear clean <laughs> look at this you can you can easily spot the the fish and the crabs also and you know what when you step inside this water the fish come to massage your feet <laughs> I think it will be very cold, I think. No, 25 degrees. No, it's never cold. Uh -huh. Where? No, I mean, maybe... I mean, sometimes I feel it's too cold. Yeah, but if you compare it to your country, yeah, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah. how cold it gets you in know, Kenya during we, we, the winter? Um, it, well, it can't get, uh, it can that get much yeah. cold there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because to even last time, this time it was very cold. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it was to negative 17. Yes, guys, I'm back. So, this area is called Alkur area. 
<laughs> so this is where we have Albay Stadium. Yes, the stadium that is in form of a tent. Yes, that tent. You know, Albay in Arabic means a house. Yes, so the tents that they were being used by the, the nomadic people. Yes. On uh, those days, so that is the the stadium is made of that design of a tent house, yes, and it's called Albay. It is um a stadium that will host an opening uh match for the FIFA World Cup twenty twenty two this year. This Albay stadium has a capacity of sixty thousand, and also. This Albeit Stadium will be reduced after the tournament. It will, the seats will be reduced to 30 something, to 30 there, so that the upper deck, it will be used for business purposes. Yes, that is how it is. Now, you know, you can see from far, that is Albeit Stadium. And we also have a smaller tent, yes. Also looks like the Albeit Stadium. And that is a McDonald's fast food restaurant. Yes, it is there, just next to Albeit Stadium. So the American people can have the feeling at home. <laughs> With the burger, yes, American burger. You can get everything there. And you know what? Qatar's vision 2030, yes, is to host more big events, yes, in here, in Qatar country, yes. So that's why we have these unique stadiums here and the unique things, yes, new unique things. A lot. The World Cup has just opened doors for many more. You can see those unique tents, huh? <laughs> they look nice, I see.
is the McDonald's uh, fast food restaurant. So we want to see what we will eat in here. <laughs> You can see we have more police, yes, <laughs> at this Albeit Stadium, yes. For security, you know, we have a lot, but they're having a parade here, I think so, because there are too many <laughs> to be in one place. You know, we have eight stadium, yes, and both will be active during the FIFA World Cup. one here might be might be education city stadium i'm not sure though but this might be now this is lucille area so in lucille we have another stadium and this stadium is called lucille stadium it's famous in my videos yes i've featured it very many times because i've been having some i've been having volunteer shifts there so lucille stadium will host the final tournament yes of the FIFA world cup 2022 and Lucille, unlike Albeit, it has capacity of 80,000. All right, guys, we have to end it here. So thank you guys for your company. And I hope you have enjoyed this video, especially for those who really wanted to know how the desert look like and how and the experience of the desert life in Qatar they have really tested it here so see you in my next video and please subscribe to support my channel see you bye